Hi everybody. Uh, this video looks at the, the drag and drop methods that can be used with Fusion's 3D tree. So to do that we need a Fusion item. Here's a simple model consisting of six meshes. I go to item mode and I select them all uh, and then hit the new Fusion button in the top toolbar. That pops up this form where we can set some of the basic parameters of our new Fusion item like its name, type, and initial strip settings. I'm selecting the 3D tree Fusion option which will create a 3D representation of our Fusion model's Boolean structure. The pop-up offers several ways of fusing our selected objects. For our purposes, a simple union will do. The 3D tree consists of instances of the source meshes that make up our Fusion item, along with locator nodes that describe its Boolean structure. The fundamental element of that Boolean structure is something we call a Fusion branch. Fusion branches are described in detail in another video. Most of the 3D tree's items work with drag and drop. The mesh instances can be dragged and are also drop targets. The locator nodes are also drop targets. The locator nodes represent Boolean operations, so we refer to them as operation nodes. So before we look at uh, those tree-based drag and drop options, let's do a simple drop using the source meshes of our fusion item. This sort of internal mesh drop using meshes that already contribute to the fusion item is used to rearrange that item's Boolean structure, uh, to rewrite the Boolean equation, so to speak. Dropping this disk mesh onto the box brings up a menu. The top three items are your basic Boolean operations, union, intersection, and subtraction. Let's try subtraction. That's pretty straightforward, and you can see that the disk is now connected to the subtractive node in the tree. It gets more interesting when I use one of the middle new branch options. In this case, new branch with subtraction. That subtracts our source dragged mesh from the destination mesh and places that subtractive operation in a new tree branch. Placing those meshes and operations in a new branch isolates the subtraction from all other meshes in the fusion item. The disk only subtracts from the box and has no effect on meshes in the other branch. Most notably, it has no effect on the tall cone in this particular case. If I undo that and perform the same edit using the tree instance items, we'll get the same menu as we got with the mesh drop. So again, I select new branch with subtraction and get the same fusion tree and model in the end. A quick note about dropping on tree mesh instances. Make sure you are not dropping on the lines that link those mesh instances to operation nodes. And nothing awful will happen, you'll just get a different drop than you intended. A useful kind of drop that we'll look at right now. Dropping any mesh directly onto an operation node makes that mesh a child of that node. This works with tree instances, fusion source meshes, or new meshes that are not yet part of the fusion model. In this case, I changed the Boolean role of the wheel-like mesh to subtractive by dropping it onto a subtractive node. Since dropping a mesh onto its parent node would not alter its Boolean role, we get a different pop-up menu in that case, one with just three items. Duplicate mesh in tree, create non-fusion duplicate, and remove dropped from fusion. Let's use the duplicate mesh in tree option, which does just that, duplicates the mesh and adds it to our fusion model. The new mesh is a child of the same operation node and matches the location of the original in the fusion model. Of course, the idea is to move or otherwise modify the duplicate, but uh, it could be a really convenient shortcut for uh, lots of modeling situations. All right, so, so far we've worked with meshes that were already part of the fusion model. Naturally, you'll want to bring in new meshes, and we can do that with drag and drop as well. Here I'm using one of the cubic meshes that come with the fusion kit, but any nice quad mesh will do. I'll just move it someplace more interesting and drop it onto one of the Fusion Model's source meshes, this time selecting a simple union. And there you can see the change in the tree with that new barrel mesh added to the top green union node of the lower branch. All right, so let's bring in a one more new mesh, and this time I'll use it to create a new branch. I drop and select new branch with subtraction, indicating that I want to subtract the uh, capsule there from the barrel only. 
And there it is in the new branch. And closer inspection shows that indeed the capsule only subtracts from the barrel. And finally, one more variation. This time, dropping a tree instance mesh onto an operation node in order to move it to a different branch. Let's say I decided I wanted to, uh, that tall cone to be cut by the disc after all. This is the way to do it. Simply move the cone to the union node of the branch containing the subtractive disc. And there you can see the cone is now one of the union objects in that middle branch and uh, therefore gets cut by the disc, uh, just like the rest of them. All right, well, that's about it for this, um, and we'll uh, be looking at uh, schematic versions of all of this in other videos. All right, thanks.